Hi, Father O'Brien here for another uh, episode of Bridging the Distance, a way for you to remain connected to Santa Clara while sheltering at home and dispersed around the world. Uh, today we have a, a great guest, Mariana Pereira. Mariana is a senior and she has been awarded a um, Fulbright Fellowship. Uh, the Fulbright is a very distinguished fellowship. It, it began after World War II as a way of connecting students and faculty in the U.S. to other countries to build um, international harmony. The first cohort of Santa Clara students to be awarded Fulbrights was in 1964. And up until last year, we had uh, about 42 students named Fulbright Scholars. But this year alone, we have four more, including Mariana. So congratulations, Mariana. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Of course. So how, you're, I know you're, uh, you're with your family back in Fair Oaks and near Sacramento. Tell me, what, um, how did you learn about the Fulbright program? Yeah, so I actually had um, Professor Levy, who works in the Office of Student Fellowships as a professor, and she had heard about my interest in Latin American politics, and she asked me what I wanted to do after graduation, and when I told her I didn't know, she told me to look into the Fulbright Fellowship, and it, I didn't know if it was going to work out and if it was the right thing for me, but I'm super happy I did. It, well, it really did. It's, it's a prestigious honor, Mariana. Tell me, what where will you go to, to uh, do your research and what will you research while on the Fulbright? So I will be researching uh, disability rights in Brazil and focusing specifically on intellectual disabilities and how those are being addressed in Brazil, as well as how organizations and society can kind of work together and advocate um, and influence policy. Now, how did you end up choosing that topic as your research focus? Um, so I actually had a personal connection to disability rights because I have a 17 year old brother with developmental disabilities. And so I've seen my parents really work their way through the disability rights system here in California and in Mexico City where we were born. And so seeing how lucky we are to live in a state that is um, that treats people with disabilities really great and provides services made me wonder about the places that were potentially lacking that and not really living to their full democratic values. Gotcha. Um, and so if you're, if you're gonna be studying in Brazil, you must, uh, I guess you'll have to know Portuguese. How's your Portuguese? <laughs> um, you know, I'm working on it. Um, I'm fluent in Spanish, which is helpful uh, in, uh, in one way, but at the same time, Portuguese is very different. So I'm trying to you know, do some Duolingo, watch some Netflix shows in Portuguese and see where that gets me. That's great. That's good. Well, it gives you something to do while sheltering in place in addition exactly. to your classes, right? So yeah. uh, what, um, uh, uh, what do you plan to do after the Fulbright? Um, so I'm not totally sure right now. I think uh, throughout my experience in college and hopefully will this Fulbright, I will have explored different sectors and different um, things that have to do with government and society. And so hopefully I will be able to pinpoint what I want to do with that. But Ultimately, I know I want to do something with advocacy and public policy and the promotion of democracy because I believe that a government isn't democratic unless it's providing and treating all citizens equally in spite of their abilities. So anything that has to do with that would be great. Wonderful. Okay, and uh, just a, a few short seconds. How about I want to give you some time to send a message to your classmates in the class of 2020. What would you like to say to them? Um, I definitely want to say to... Um, those who are not seniors to definitely treasure all the moments that you get at Santa Clara because you never know when they'll be over and for the seniors to really try to think positively about the amazing experiences you had at Santa Clara, you know, rather than the negative things that are going on. Great. Well, Mariana, thanks so much. It was great talking to you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. You all well. right. Give our best to all of our good friends up there in the Sacramento area. I'm Father O'Brien. We'll see you next time uh, on our next episode of Bridging the Distance. Until then, take care and God bless.